I'm in central Indiana right now. I've come about, let's see, 125 miles total. Traffic for the first 100 miles was kind of a pain in the butt. Even though I went past rush hour, I still, I took 59 south, which is still pretty close to Chicago traffic. But the only other way is to uh, swing way around. And I probably would have lost just as much time. So I think either way it worked out about even. And then uh, it was kind of neat when I got to uh, downtown Joliet. I kind of hooked up with this BMW rider. He was ahead of me, so uh, I stopped at an intersection, just asked him where he was going. He said he's going to Columbus, Ohio. So through Joliet and all the twists and turns to stay on 30, I basically just followed him so I didn't have to make any effort. And uh, Finally, he pulled off in uh, just probably about 20 miles into Indiana. He pulled off, uh, that was about 30 miles back from where I'm at right now. So I don't know, it's possible he might catch up with me and I might see him again. He's got all, all gray riding jacket on, riding pants, gray motorcycle, but a bright yellow helmet. So if I do spot him, I'll know it's him for sure. But I've got about 30 more miles to go and I'll be at the halfway point. I'm going about 300 miles today. Still on Route 30, which is Lincoln Highway. In about another half hour, I'm going to be heading north on 31 and catching up to Route 20. Then going straight east on 20 until I get to Toledo, and then I'm going to spend the night and the next day in Toledo. So that's basically what's going on now. I'm far enough away from Chicago that you can see I'm in a nice rural farmland area, which is really where I enjoy riding more than anything else. I, I don't like riding for long stretches and heavy traffic. But from here on out until I get to Toledo, and then from Toledo until I hit Cleveland, I'll still have plenty of rural areas to get into pretty much till I reach western Pennsylvania. So anyway, that's just catching you guys up on the first part of my trip. If anything else significant happens, I will uh, let you guys know. Well, I just stopped for a bite to eat in the LaGrange, Indiana McDonald's. And when you know, right after I pulled in, the black Amish buggy pulled in. I think they're around back somewhere. I'll be circling around to go out, so. About 30 miles west of here, I started seeing the little black buggies all over the place. <coughs> and now, some of them even have turn signals on them. Yeah, the little buggy pulled in, and I, I think a lady was driving, and this guy hops out, and he goes in and orders something at McDonald's. In fact, he's still in there, I believe. I thought at first when they pulled in here, I thought they were going through the drive-thru. I wondered, uh, did they let the buggies go through the drive-thru? But I guess no reason why not. I mean, just because it's a horse. So we'll go around back and see if it's there. Uh, yeah, it's the first time I've been this far east on 30 Lincoln Highway. Yep, there's the little buggy. Yeah, that one's got the little turn signals on the back too. So how's this for timing? I got into Toledo and not 10 minutes after I checked in, it started raining. 
but I got everything unloaded. So all my gear is inside. It was all waterproofed anyway, but it's just the annoyance of, uh, I don't have to put up with the annoyance of having it wet on the outside and having to wipe it down. But wouldn't have hurt either way, but sure nice to have a time just perfect like that. So looks like it's going to go over and pass. And then the sky's going to open up again, so I'll rest about an hour and then maybe go see about something for supper. Talk to you guys later.